Good morning. Good to be with you again today and glad to be able to read through the Word of God. And we are going to be in Genesis chapters 9 and 10 and we'll do Proverbs chapter 20. And Genesis chapter 9 is where we'll start. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And the fear of you that the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that moveth upon the earth and upon all the fishes of the sea. Into your hand are they delivered. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you, even as the green herb have I given you all things. But flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall ye not eat. And surely your blood of your lives will I require. At the hand of every beast will I require it. And at the hand of man and at the hand of every man's brother will I require the life of man. Who sheddeth, whoso sheddeth man's blood by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he man. And you be ye fruitful and multiply. Bring forth abundantly in the earth and multiply therein. And God spake unto Noah and to his sons with him, saying, And behold, and I, behold, I establish my covenant with you, and with your seed after you, and with every living creature that is with you, of the fowl of the of the fowl, of the cattle, and of every beast of the earth with you, from all that go out of the ark to every beast of the earth. And I will establish my covenant with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood. Neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set up my bow in the cloud, and I sh it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh, and the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and ever, every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, This is the token of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And Ham is the father of Canaan. These are the three sons of Noah, and of them was the whole earth overspread. And Noah began to be an husbandman, and he planted a vineyard. And he drank of the wine and was drunken, and he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and told his two brethren without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders, and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were backward, when, and they saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his wine, and knew what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants, shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. And Noah lived after the flood three hundred and fifty years, and all of the days of Noah were nine hundred and fifty years, and he died. Genesis chapter 10. Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And unto the end were, the, were sons born after the flood. Lord, help me with these names. <laughs> the sons of Japheth, Gomer, and Magog, and Madai, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshet, and Teres. And the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, and Riphath, and Tagarma, and the sons of Javan. Elisha, and Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodan. By these were the isles of the Gentiles divided in their lands, every one after his tongue, after their families, in the nations. And the sons of Ham, Cush, and Merizam, and Put, and Canaan. And the sons of Cush, Sheba, and Havilah, and Sabata, and Ramah, and Septeca, 
and the sons of Rama, Sheba, and Dedan. Then, and Cush begat Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one in the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, and Erech, and Achit, and Kalni in the land of Shinar. Out of that land went forth Asher, and builded Nineveh, and the city Rehoboth, and Kalah. And reason between Nineveh and Kalah, the same is a great city. And Mizram beget Ludum, and Enamim, and Libium, and Nephitim, 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 and Pathrusim, and Kafshum, out of whom came Philistium, and Kathorim. And Canaan begat Sidon, his firstborn, and Heth, and the Jebusite, and the Amorite, and the Gergesite, and the Hivite, and the Archite, and the Sinite, and the Artavite, and the Zimmerite, and the Hathamite. And afterward were the families of the Canaanites spread abroad. And the border of the Canaanites was from Sidon, as thou comest to Gerar, unto Gaza, as thou goest unto Sodom and Gomorrah, and Adama, and Zeboam, even unto Lasha. These are the sons of Ham, after their families, after their tongues, in their countries, and in their nations. Unto Shem also, the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth, the elder, even to him were children born. The children of Shem, Elam, and Asher, and Arphaxed, and Lud, and Aram, and the ch children of Aram, Uz, and Hul, and Gether, and Mash, and Arphaxed begat Salah, and Salah begat Eber. And unto Eber were born two sons, the name of one, Peleg, and in his day was the earth divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. And Joktan begat Alamadad, and Sheleph, and Hazmarveth, and Gera, and Hadoram, and Uzal, and Dekala, and Obal, and Abimelel, and Sheba, and Ophir, and Havilah, and Jobab, all these were the sons of Jotkin, and their dwelling was from Mesha, as thou goest unto Sefer, a mount of the east. These are the sons of Shem, after their families, after their tongues, in their lands, after their nations. These are the families of the sons of Noah, after their generations, in the nations, and by these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. Whew. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Just do our best. Amen. Proverbs chapter 20. Wine is a mocker, strong drink is raging, and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. The fear of a king is as the roaring of a lion. Whoso provoketh him to anger sinneth against his own soul. It is an honor for a man to cease from strife, but every fool will be meddling. The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold, therefore shall he beg to harvest. Beg and harvest and have nothing. Counsel in the heart of man is like deep water, but a man of understanding will draw it out. Most men will proclaim every one his own goodness, but a faithful man who can find. The just man walketh in his integrity, his children are blessed after him. A king that sitteth in the throne of judgment scattereth away all evil with his eyes. Who can say I have made my heart clean? I am pure from my sin. Divers weights and divers measures, both of them, are alike abomination to the Lord. Even a child is known by his doings, whether his work be pure and whether it be right. The hearing ear and the seeing eye the Lord hath made, even both of them. Love not sleep, lest thou come to poverty. Open thine eyes, and thou shalt be satisfied with bread. It is naught, it is naught, saith the buyer, but when he is gone his way, then he boasteth. There is gold and a multitude of rubies, but the lips of knowledge are pure, precious jewel. Take his garment that is surety for a stranger, and take a pledge of him for a strange woman. Bread of deceit is sweet to a man, but afterward his mouth shall be filled with gravel. Every purpose is established by counsel. With good advice, make war. He that goeth about as a talebearer revealeth secrets. Therefore, meddle not with him that flattereth with his lips. Whoso curseth his father or his mother, his lamp shall be put out in obscure darkness. 
An inheritance may be gotten hastily at the beginning, but the end thereof shall not be blessed. Say not thou, I will recompense evil, but wait on the Lord, and he shall save thee. Divers weights are an abomination to the Lord, and a false balance is not good. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? It is a snare to the man who devoureth that which is holy, and after vows to make inquiry. A wise king scattereth the wicked, and bringeth the will over them. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, searching all the inward parts of the belly. Mercy and truth preserve the king, and his throne is upholden by mercy. The glory of young men is their strength, and the beauty of old men is the gray hair. The blueness of a wound cleanseth away evil, so do stripes the inward parts of the belly. Lord bless. Glad to read uh, with you again today. Like, share, comment, ask questions, encourage others to watch along with us, to read through the Word of God. That is our my goal, and I hope it's yours as well, to read through the Bible. And uh, as I said you know, yesterday, the day before, um, I want to encourage you, you can start now. Let today be your day that you start reading your Bible through the year. It doesn't have to be January 1st. Um, you can start uh, today and then finish next year on this day. So, Lord bless you. I encourage you to read, get in the Word of God, read the Word of God, and be filled by the Word of God. Uh, it is our life. It is our bread. Um, and so I'm thankful for it. God has given it to us. We have it now. Uh, so let's take it while we have it and uh, put it in our hearts. David said, hide your word in my heart that I may not sin against thee. So let's hide, his, hide God's word in our heart. Lord bless. Look forward to being back with you again tomorrow.